probably the most annoying thing about selling online or eBay and trying to attract customers is I've noticed so many times when personally I go to a buy items from eBay you know people will put up you know one small picture a sloppy picture of an item you're trying to buy and they don't realize the object uh, is if you don't have don't produce a good photo then your item highly unlikely will be sold. So the best practice for the eBayers or eBay shopper sellers is to use all of the given photo and take much photo as possible and highlight all the defects and to show that customer instead of writing a essay on the description you don't need to describe anything this photo should sell itself take a look at one of my photos I'm just going to bring up here a pair of Adidas high top now I always like take minimum of 12 photos now as you can see in these photos I'm showing the the rims of of, uh, of the, the trainers here next one again nicely taken again so by looking at the photo they know exactly when you hover your mouse over it, it becomes larger they, they can see exactly what they're purchasing so I don't need to say anything on description I don't need to give them a PhD degree description on what's this product all about they can see it on the photo uh, like the um this you have to show them this every angle everything even the tag tag is matters you know the size tag and things like that so any uh, anything you're selling let's let's go for another one so most of my photos are uh, I try to take them as good as I can I don't use professional camera well I use my Samsung um, Samsung S2 I think sorry Samsung Note 2 to take these pictures and some of these pictures are really really good you can visit my eBay shop buy sell second hand and give a visit to the shop yeah buy sell second hand and check those photos out yeah and how I take them you know you have to spend a bit of time and effort if you don't do it your item is not going to sell even if you're taking photo of for example a badminton racket here look I'll show you I could have just taken one that I've hi highlighted here in this photo I've highlighted as I there's two string yeah we have two broken string here look so I've highlighted that 
and even highlighted a small um, handle, there's dark patches everywhere. So these sort of things, you need to do it. When I'm photographing like baseball caps, you know, I'll show one photo, another photo will be to show the inside of that baseball cap. Next one, the top and all the sizes. Yeah. So the basically the buyers they know exactly so I don't get too many question asks when when I'm photographing like um, trousers and pants you call it in the state trousers what I tend to do is I always like to hang them up against a white background in the wall, especially I hang them up in the wall and I close um, photograph the front again showing the pockets so both sides of the pocket the back of the, the trouser and then the buttons and especially put a tape against the the hem size at the bottom so they know exactly and then the labels it's very important that you should put labels and any defects that way so basically what I'm saying to say is You know, take your time, just don't put up one photo and expect to sell the items. Whenever you're doing it, take the full four or five photos. And let the photo sell itself. Rather than one has to explain. You know, and this. I'm sorry I'm using a, my Samsung to record this so the recording may not be that good but I can show you some of these pictures I've taken is breathtaking go to my uh, store buy sell second hand and you can review some of these photos I have down there so once again to improve your eBay sells. Make sure you take a, a a good picture. You don't need to have expensive photographic equipment to take those pictures. You can take them with your normal normal camera. You know your cell phone, iPhone or Samsung phone. But concentrate on the lighting. You know, don't overexpose it. Don't underexpose it. Now all you need to do is have a nice background. Sometimes I use um, a long sheet of white paper. Other time I just do it. You know, I you know I'm mean lazy sometimes. I don't bother with it. But as you get more experience, you don't have to use like this one here. Look, it looks so professional because I use white background. Yeah. And another uh, another thing to bear in mind, if your item is like, uh, for example, you photograph in a pair of trainers, and and the pair of trainers like a Nike, uh, Air Force, all white, then don't use white background because not going to stand out like I have here look I have a, and that was a from your silly thing to do use white background against white the item does not stand out 
So like here, this photo is a pair of Timberland. Look how it looks great. Right. So I hope this video has helped you a bit. As I said, you do not need to buy all the expensive camera equipment to take your camera. All you need is a bit of patience, watch other people's photos and how they do it, and take your time. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like and subscribe and leave any comment. Thank you so much.